Hello everyone and welcome back to Linda's Artsy Studio. Today you're going to see me do a clock. And as you can see I've already poured my first layer. Here is the mica powder I've used in the first layer. And here you're going to see me adding the clock detail with just Mod Podge in the back. You just apply it with a little brush and it sticks really well and you don't see the Mod Podge when it's finished and that's really good. This clock is for my one of my brother's uh, girlfriends. She loved the color blue, so I thought when it's her b birthday soon, I will make her a nice clock to hang on the wall. And of course, in the color blue, I've, um, because if she she really loves blue. And then I just eyeballed where I wanted the clock detail and just press it down a little bit. And here I will use some washi tapes from the washi tape shop. I have a discount code and I will leave it down in the description box down below also with some other codes. I will leave everything down in the description of what I've used and you can try to find something similar or the same if you can. If you want to do something similar or the same thing you can do that and here is the washi tape I've used in this project but I have many different ones that I will show you later I don't show you all of them but some of them And here is the one I used. Here is some other ones that I have. They are lovely colors. Lovely, lovely colors. I love them all. The green with flowers and gold details. And this one. And this one. They have a lot of washi tapes. You can find some on uh, Amazon. Also, not not the washi tape, but um, not from the washi tape shop. At least you can find washi tape on Amazon or Wish or yeah wherever you find it but I think washi tape is my favorite and here I will use some relief pen or paste to dry or, or paint on my piece to 
to add some details. Here I'm just trying out some different things you can do, but I decide to do uh, those instead. This was a really, really fun project. Uh, here you, I have sped up the video, so this video wouldn't be an hour long. So this video will be 15 minutes almost, instead of one hour. I think it's even more than an hour long if I wouldn't speed this up. I really hope that you enjoy this video, please then give it a thumbs up. If you do, that makes YouTube know that you like this content and more can find my videos. And you can also subscribe, I will do many many more videos. I release videos two to three times a week. Sometimes even more, but at least two times a week. And here you see me adding some details. The um, paste has dried and I wanted to add some details. So I add some glitter and those are the glitters I will use. And I will leave the link down below. It will be my link to get some discount on your glitter from the recipe. And you will, yeah, you can use my link and you will directly, when you buy the things, you will get some money off of it. And I will get some money also for buying new washi tapes. So that will really make me happy if you did. The recipe has really, really pretty glitters. I love them. Honestly, I I have other glitters, and after I've seen the recipe's glitter, I don't even want to use the other ones because they are stunning. <laughs> they are really, really, really pretty. And now I will add my second different glitter. Some lighter, lighter blue. This was a really, really fun project to do. Uh, I hope that you get some inspiration from it and want to try it out.
and here I thought it mm, nah I need more glitter so here I'm adding glitter into the middle of the clock but I poured too much in as you can see really really soon I had to clean some this parts up because you, as you can see now it starts to float everywhere where I don't want the glitter I just wanted it in the middle but it's easy when you have like a baby wipe or paper to just dry it up a little bit and this is UV resin I use for um, details and I will add a top coat to it so they stick together because I know that UV resin don't work on normal resin but not so good at least but here is it as you can see almost finished it just needs a top coat here I'm going to add the top coat and everything is dry so I will put on some gloves now and my respirator and add my second top coat And as I said in the beginning, I will leave everything I used down in the description box and even maybe a little bit more. So you can find some other things you can do if you want to do a clock yourself and you can't find those parts. I know that you can find some of them on uh, Etsy or Amazon. So. Uh, I will le leave a link to Etsy at least and you can if you want to do a nice clock you can find some of the parts there also and after I added this top coat it needed to dry for 24 hours I leave it a little bit longer because I had to work I've started working again uh, so I didn't have the time to film it done until yeah now so it has been like 48 hours instead but it's fine it's just better for the piece to rest a little bit because I need to drill a hole also into it so I can fit in my clock mechanism and here you see me adding some isopropyl alcohol to it to pop the bubbles which I did every five minutes because there were many bubbles and here you see me unmold it and this is how it looks I love this piece it's so so shimmery and looks so nice and here it's all finished I hope that you really like this video and I will see you in the next video bye for now